There was a time not so long ago when the word engage was most commonly used when two people plighted their troth with the goal of matrimony or holy wedlock, with or without the holes. The word was always in the form with ED. You were engaged to be married. You didn't engage someone to marry you. To be sure, there were other senses of engage. You could engage someone in conversation by engaging their attention. You could be engaged in an enterprise. You could be engaged to do a job. Or if you were the boss, you could engage someone if you hired them. If you had a car with manual gears, you could engage reverse. And if you were partial to the sport of fencing, you could engage someone in combat. But nowadays, engage is everywhere, particularly in the phrase, engage with. Teachers are exhorted to engage with their students. Politicians engage with their constituents. Business people engage with their customers. Coaches engage with their players. If this use of engage with means anything, it seems to imply to talk to or, more pompously, to involve in meaningful conversation or interaction. It seems to be related to another odious phrase, to reach out to. When a telemarketer says that they are reaching out to me, I put them on hold for an hour and a half. One doesn't wish to engage with people who speak like that.